Everyone back for Rotherham as Mowat hits it along the floor. Oh! Towards that near post and it's poked towards goal by Darnell Furlong who couldn't quite get it on target. A move from the training ground, Andy. It's cliche, but there's no other way to describe it. <laughs> straight from the training ground, straight out of that training ground box of tricks. The six-yard box apart from Thomas Asante who is a one-man wall. Rathbone and it comes towards the penalty spot and nodded towards goal by Jordan Hugill. Straight at Alex Palmer. You're giving him a, a free header sort of penalty spot. Midfielders when they're in possession and it, making it difficult for Albion to thread little balls through. Here is Malumbi. Backwards again, furlong down the line. Diangana now is isolated 1v1, can run at his man. Diangana steps inside, does well. Diangana shoots but drags it well wide of that near post. It was uh, audacious from Grady Diangana. Yeah. Shows the confidence that he possesses, but his shooting was a little way with that time, but he went past his man so easily, and that can be a positive for Albion. Comes oh, as far as Appiah, who's lost the ball. The Sarmiento, quick feet from him, he's gone past two. Stand Out to the left-hand side, Townsend plays it to the edge of the penalty area. Malumbi hits it from the volley. And it comes off the side of his boot and wide of the <laughs> far post. Victor Johansson never troubled by that one, but at least Albion have worked an opportunity to get a shot off at goal under. Yeah, and I'll tell you what, very, very, very difficult technique. What Jason Malumbi's tried there is coming across him. He's square onto it as well to try and hit that sweet and get that anywhere near on target as well. Nigh on impossible. It's only a select few that can do that. Not interested in playing out from the back oh, tonight. Kipre, Kipre wins again. the header. Malumbi takes needs it down. It, needs it in behind. Malumbi to find Dian Garner and Dian Garner with the outside of his boot forward. Put it in that right Put it in there. Furlong's in there. So too Thomas Asante. And he comes towards Thomas Asante. Pass target. Cleared away. Edge of the penalty area. And yeah, it's it is. Dian Garner, which takes the deflection and beats Victor Johansson <laughs> and hits the back of the net in the centre of the goal with Johansson diving to his left hand side. Dian Garner hits to the away end, as do his teammates. And the Albion, maybe on a night where they needed a slice of luck, have got one, Dian Garner will claim it it's rather a nil, West Bromwich Albion won. He steadies himself and then he rifles one hard and low, takes some slight deflection and goes into the goal goalkeeper goes the wrong way Are Albion about to win this with one shot on target in the whole night? <laughs> some stat in it. Oh it's tell you bat, what is it on the edge of the penalty area Yeah, it's not in the box. right on the edge it will be a free kick. It's too close this for me left hand side of the deep and to head home with all three points Moat and Wallace over it. Looks like it will be Jed Wallace! Oh! Wow, what a, what finish, a strike from the skipper! <laughs> what a finish! Andy was saying it might be too close. Jed Wallace proves it's not too close at all. A brilliant strike which clips the underside of the crossbar and smashes into the back of the net. For me, it was a little bit too close to get up and over, but he blasts the ball straight through the water, comes under the underside of the bar, and what a strike from Jed Wallace on his return to action.